Good morning, child of God. Time to reflect on the Holy Word of God. We do it daily here on Seize the Day. Do it on my YouTube channel. Share it to my Facebook page as well. And every day I write a 60-second reflection for my website, GusLloyd.com. Today, it's entitled The Nobility of Marriage because of our first reading from Tobit, chapters 6, 7, and 8. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Medea and were getting close to Ecbatana, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother. He replied, Here I am. He said, Tonight we must stay with Regel, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Regel, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to them, Greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Regel slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Regel to let me marry my kinswoman Sarah. Regel overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter Sarah than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you both. Tobiah answered, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Regel said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love, and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Regel called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with the words, Take her according to the law. According to the decree written in the book of Moses, she is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Regel then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that she might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the degree of the Mosaic law. Her mother brought the scroll and Regel drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. Afterward, they began to eat and drink. Later, Regel called his wife Edna and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room as she was told and brought the girl there. After she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the bedroom and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and to grant us deliverance. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praised be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him Eve as his wife to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord... You know that I take this wife of mine, not because of lust, but for a noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her, and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen, and went to bed for the night. The word of the Lord from the book of Tobit. The first reading in today's Mass, we see the marriage, and we'll talk more about this here in just a little while, but read my reflection today called The Nobility of Marriage. The responsorial for today from Psalm 128 and the response, Blessed those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. And the response again, Blessed are those who fear the Lord from Psalm 128. And our gospel passage today is Mark 12, 28 through 34. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he and to love him with all your heart and with all your understanding and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. 
And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord from Mark chapter 12, our Gospel reading in today's Mass. Love God, love neighbor. Interesting that when Jesus was asked the singular question, he gave that dual answer. Let's start our day with a prayer, shall we? Father, we come before you this morning in a spirit of love and thanksgiving for your word in our heart. Lord, we thank you for the grace of marriage, the sacrament of marriage. And we pray today and every day for all marriages that you will bless them and bless married couples. That we might keep God first in our personal, individual relationships and in our marriages. That we may bless him and love each other as our neighbor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen, in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you get something out of these every day, I hope you'll share it with a friend and subscribe as well. So peace and good to you and yours, my friend. Bye-bye for now.